On Sunday, about 100 protesters marched on the Capitol to show their support for the people of Palestine. Some of the protesters gave speeches, while others read poetry, including the writings of a woman currently residing in the war-torn area. Lauren L., an organizer with the Bozeman chapter of Montana for Palestine, comes from Jewish heritage and has family and friends who currently live in Israel. She said that the group has three demands for Senator John Tester. Those include an immediate ceasefire, an ending of funds providing weapons and military support for Israel, and for a lift on the siege of Gaza. It is not anti-Semitic to be anti-Zionist, and it is absolutely in no way, shape, or form anti-Semitic to love and care for the Palestinian people. Um, our liberation is intertwined, so none of us are free until all of us are free. The group has chosen to primarily direct their demands to Senator Tester because of his position as the chairman of the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee. Another organizer, Omar Awad, is half Palestinian and has about 10 family members who currently live in the West Bank. He condemned the deaths of both Palestinian and Israeli people and says that he is there to encourage peace and solidarity among all people. There's innocent people on both sides and there's bad people on both sides and we're, we're here to speak up for the innocent people and try to reduce the amount of casualties of innocent people on both sides. After speeches were given on the Capitol steps, the group then took to marching alongside the Capitol grounds, before ending up in front of the office of Senator John Tester, where they rode in chalk on the sidewalk and building. Now there was one counter-protester who did engage in conversation with other protesters, and event organizers do encourage a conversation around the topic. Reporting in Helena, Tom Buchanan, MTN News.